uh, Dr. Tansir, so today, uh, so we must talk about uh, instrument and like this. Is it possible to demonstrate that lecture? Uh, yes. Uh, do, do you have that lecture in the... Um... In system, I must, because uh, today it was, uh, we must talk about uh, so instrument and also uh, laparoscope and basic things. Because I am on the mobile, if you can please uh, start it from there. Yeah, because yesterday we have talked about this. Yes, I understand, but I forgot my laptop at home. Sorry for that. No, no, no issue, no problem. So just I need some time. So definitely I have that one. Yeah. Uh, till that, uh, we can have a feedback of the candidates. Uh, I would like to, uh, so first of all, ask, uh, Dr. Abdul Rahman, to say a few words, uh, words about the fellowship, please. Dr. Abdul Rahman, are you there? Uh, Dr. Hussain, are you there? Mm, yes, Doc, I'm here. Okay. Uh, say, I want you to say a few words about the mini fellowship program. What is your experience okay, and how you yeah. are, you know, feeling about in Pakistan, things about in Pakistan. Okay, thank you, Doc. So, it's uh, to, till this point, I feel very welcome here in Pakistan. And uh, the program is going very well. Um, the team is very good. You are very good, sir. I have not seen somebody so uh, what, uh, welcoming and uh, so giving like you. I've been through many teachers and many professors. So that way, I am very grateful. Uh, hopefully, we'll be meeting personally also Dr. Imran Abbas also. Um, so to this point, the training is going well, and uh, obviously, we need to work hard. Uh, I believe it's a very good opportunity. Yeah, we, we are hopeful that in three months, uh, we should be uh, doing a lot of things. And uh, once we get back to Tanzania, and um, it will be... We, we will make a difference there. Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Hussain, for the um, kind words. So together we will be uh, doing cases and we will be learning from each other and we'll be conducting some lectures and some workshops in, in, in this tenure of yours in Pakistan. Uh, okay. And we'll try our level best to instill a little bit of which we know to you and other uh, colleagues. So I would like to request Dr. Zain to say a few words, please. Uh, as long as you say. Uh, Dr. Zain, I think there is there are two phones on. Kindly switch on one switch off one speaker. Oh, okay, sir. Got. It. Yeah, it's okay now. It's okay now. Uh, okay, sir. First of all, I would like yes. to already yes, uh, told Dr. Imran that. Uh, uh, thanks to you guys for giving uh, uh, me this opportunity because uh, we are uh, working in periphery and uh, giving us a chance here is a, a very good opportunity for us. Uh, secondly, up till now, uh, it's only been three days and uh, we have learned a lot from you. Uh, you have uh, given us uh, open hands on certain surgeries and I guess uh, every fellow in Islamabad Center have done. Um, at least uh, laparoscopic cholecystic me up till now with the uh, uh, small tricks we uh, have been ignoring we have learned it and uh, for the second time in this uh, nice international master class I'll try to do my best uh... oh, okay okay so uh, my feedback is this is a wonderful opportunity and uh, I guess I will uh, we will uh, be doing uh, uh, a lot better after three months and uh... that is really good so i hope uh, you are enjoying the you know working atmosphere as well as the layer atmosphere as well as today yes, we are please. planning to as we are today we are planning for a picnic <laughs> so, <laughs> yes sir so after so the lecture it will be fun wonderful to see um, a great team working together as uh, 
uh, no tension at all in, in that kind of environment and uh, your your team is also sir wonderful and uh, we have uh, we uh, getting the company of uh, dr hussain from tanzania and learning about his culture also and right yeah. now we are out in a beautiful spot that is that is really good ji we are all enjoying uh, each other's company and everybody is very comfortable uh, and we have a very good team of course uh, with us and uh, uh, with the you know kind cooperation of dr sana the things are going very smooth um, yes, and 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 she is she herself is uh, you know holding hands and you know making uh, you all learn the tips and tricks of a minimal invasive surgery uh, and i would like to thank uh, our colleagues dr saim uh, dr danish dr hera uh, dr ifat dr hasham because they are also sacrificing their cases for the fellows and they are doing the level best even at the uh, very late night uh, they are you know um, there all the time to help the uh, our colleague fellows uh, from uh, uh, i would say around the globe Okay. Rightly said, sir. Rightly said. Rightly. So I would like to request now Dr. Abdul Rahman to say a few words if he is around. Till we start. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir uh, first of all, we are very thankful uh, to our uh, mentors like Dr. Sir, Dr. Imran Abbas. They have provided us such a great opportunities to learn a lot. And uh, secondly, I'm especially thankful to Dr. Sir. I've never seen such a nice teacher who have, who is providing us uh, such opportunities in a very comfortable environment. We are very much satisfied and uh, everything is beyond our expectation. Uh, we have learned a lot in a few days and hopefully, inshallah, such chances will be there in future as well. Excellent. So can, uh, can we start... Uh... Yes, please, Dr. Imran, we can start. Yeah, just I will open and and you will see the slides. Just can, you see the slides? can you see the slides? Dr. Tansir, yes, we, see yes we can see it. Yes, we can see it. Introduction of minimal in excess surgery. Can you see everyone? Yes, we can see it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, highly welcome all of you. And as Dr. Tanseer mentioned, this is our first session, regular first session of MIS uh, program and minimal invasive uh, training program. We had randomly hundreds of such a master classes, online uh, training program, different levels, different countries as well in Central Asian state, Georgia, Uzbekistan, but uh, as a proper uh, so this such a program so this is a first program and this was uh, a dream i remember so many times we have discussed with each other dr tanseer myself professor amir khan so how can we start there was a lot of hurdle you know better than me obstacles and definite with the help and support and guidance of dr tanseer that dream becomes uh, so reality and we will try our best in these sessions so if uh, definite because we are more practical if you can see we also this glr we have affiliation with five other uh, universities in the world like madrid university napoli ck huang tehran and also has some in lebanon and also we facilitate our youngsters. But uh, what was the dream? We must go ahead and we must be physically involved in such a training program. And thanks God, uh, the day said that we can uh, see. So we have started. So today our lecture, because also we must have such a session weekly on weekly base. Today just I try to introduce MIS. You all know better than me. But uh, again, this is a protocol. Uh, we will start from an introduction and then we will go ahead uh, and also we will try our best, uh, especially about TAP, uh, lab coli, safe lab coli, complicated, and CBD exploration. And hopefully, 
during this uh, short period of three months, uh, we will convey our message and also our expectation from our fellows. You must be involved. You must also prepare some lectures. Your supervisors uh, will talk with you because when you will prepare some lectures, that is more effective. So yes, you, this is the reality. So when we can see in 2008, so now in 1990s, so television size was like this. And uh, so man is like this. And But again, in two, this television is slim. But so due to uh, health, this unhealthy lifestyle, now obesity, this is the technology, now the time of technology. So if we see, uh, so different names we can ask. So Professor Hopkin started in 1953. So these results that we are now at this stage, this you can you can imagine how much struggle and work behind such a technology that we can see now easily at this stage. So this. Uh, uh, with different names like keyhole surgery, endoscopic surgery, buttonhole surgery, minimally invasive surgery, minimal excess surgery, so laparoscopy, thoracoscopy, cystoscopy, history, many names. So again, the main target is MIS. Nowadays, so all you know better than me, endoscopic spine surgery, till endoscopic neurosurgeries, we are going into laser surgery uh, for hemorrhoids, for different, that is also MIS. So we are uh, going to, and you all are lucky, in, especially in Islamabad, because this laser technology, first time uh, Dr. Tansir introduced in Pakistan, and he's the leading person, and on daily basis, he has such uh, cases there in uh, Islamabad. So we can, so I, I highlighted limited cases, but frequently that you are doing, this is routine and you will do inshallah, in near future you will be able to do as a phagectomy, you can do echelasia cardia and also heller myotomies, hiatal hernias, intestinal resections, mesenteric nodes, appendectomy, hernia repair, gallbladder, splenectomy, sympathectomies, Spinal, many things. So I highlighted some of the cases that you can do. And when the basic is very important and your hand-eye coordination is very important, the smoothness and softness of your hands is very important because we all are basically open surgeons. So in open surgery, our hand is harsh, little harsh, but in laparoscopy, your movement, your hand must be smooth. When you hold the tissue, tissue you must, this, this harshness must be go. And when the smoothness will come, it is the, it, this is our target. So when, and my also humble request, always, so practice on a simulator. So tissue, dissection, handling of tissue. So you must have a scissor, you must have a grasper, you can take the paper, how you cut the paper, so how you hold this, these all are practices. So when you will do this, definite, your hand will be smooth. This is our target. And if this is the base of laparoscopy, if you can do, because in, in laparoscopy, we have some basic things that are more important. One thing is, uh, so definite selection of patient, everything that is okay. But when you're doing, so proper site of trocar, that is very important. When you are doing tap, so what is the site? A proper standard site of trocar. When you are doing lap poly, what is the standard site of trocars? Because ergonomics that we ask, ergonomic very important. Without ergonomics, standard ergonomic, you cannot do it. Then hand-eye coordination. <clears throat> Just imagine, uh, so in MIS, so he was a uh, father, so he was also suffering with the, uh, uh, so this hypertrophy of pylorus hypertrophy, and at that time they did surgery like this. But his son now with MIS, there is no scar. Uh, so you must be able to do diagnostic laparoscopy in these sessions. 
and in advance yes now you will you will be able to do lab coli appendectomies hernia also inguinal also ventral or in future yes and also you will be if you have laser at your center so piles and prolapse so this is mis and also you can do in future all types of surgery with mis what is the advantages of mis so you can see this is a improved diagnosis, less time dissection and disruption, less wound infection, less chance of adhesions, early return to work, less pain post-operatively, less surgery associated complications. So like uh, we can see routinely pneumonia, thromboembolism, especially in open surgeries, there is more chance of complication so this these are these are the main main but we have lot of this when patient you will go for mis so patient is easy to mobilize uh, so definite easy to return to work a lot of advantage we have some disadvantages and we must know as a doctor so maybe a little expensive now we cannot ask uh, more operative time because it depends on your team so you can adjust team and also if you have sufficient instrument and also you have two or three operation room. Uh, so yes, you can do speedy, more speedy. This is, we cannot ask, so uh, it will take time. <clears throat> Potential for major complications in inexperience. This is very important. I must highlight this sometime. Just imagine you are doing a uh, lap appendectomy and there is a gangrenous retrocecal appendicitis how you handle if you not have sufficient maybe you will perforate cecum and then again a disaster so do, till appendectomy I am talking just imagine you are doing a lap coli and there is a lot of adhesions and maybe you will so cause an injury to CBD please be careful so this is the time, especially fellows, to learn more, more, do more. So when you will do more and more, so definite this not only pass up these three months. No, no, this is a great opportunity for all of you. Every case, you will take a message. And this is reality. And always try to uh, record your videos. And when you have a time, you can see your own videos in laptop. If you're doing, when you will start to do, independently surgeries always record and also this must be now you can't i have three four hard disks these are all full of these videos my own videos uh, so always i learn from my own videos so yes when i do this i like this like this so this is this knowledge and learning is continue we cannot ask so this is continue and if you will do this, definite, then there will be less chance of complication. And be careful, especially at early stage. We cannot ask, we cannot face complication. Definite, we can face. But you can decrease the chance of complication. Loss of tactile feedback that is not such a, in open. This is also in another disadvantage. Difficult in complicated cases. If you have some complicated cases, you can ask someone, your fellow, and initially you can uh, take the help, then you will be in a safe zone. Uh, so when you will do surgery, uh, so uh, with a colleague and also you will, you will selection of patient is very important. So then definite there will be less. And if you see at any level, any, uh, uh, so it must be open, open, the, open. There is no, there is no ego. Patient safety is more important. But hopefully this, there is no need. Now I can ask you, uh, thanks God, I'll, also I ask, I think more than 10 years, uh, I remember as I remember, so I never open uh, cholecystectomy. Well, difficult, difficult, difficult cases, uh, so I can do. So same you will also, you can do this. This is not uh, uh, so thing, so you cannot do, but there is no ego. If you see, yes, you're stuck and it's better to go open, open. No problem, no issue. There are some contraindication of uh, the general contraindication. 
and you all know about this so when because before surgery we need fitness of the patient so if patient is suffering with severe copd or cardiac diseases definite patient is not good candidate for laparoscopy so grade 2 or 3 shock so be careful because again when you will do normoperitoneum again pressure will be less and maybe sometimes i had a case uh, i think uh, two three months ago uh, here in dubai uh, because our uh, gyne uh, colleagues always uh, ask us and we help them patient with the shock after ep that was ectopic pregnancy a young lady i think from philippine i think and she was in completely shock when i see so i ask her so open the patient so there is no we have no time now we cannot waste the time in such a situation just we start uh, iv and also uh, lap, mini laparotomy you can cover that area you can put some gauze we can pack that area and then we will section and you will do and uh, go ahead. Uh, generalized peritonitis, it depends on your expertise. This is not uh, uh, absolute contraindication. You can do uh, so, but again, be careful because especially like this, just imagine perforated peptic ulcer and patient uh, consult you after three to four days. So there is a lot of pus and also interloop and you then this uh, small ball is fragile and maybe again a complication. So due to this selection of patient is very earlier, yes, when there you can see there is not a lot of just perforation. You can wash, you can do, and routinely we do. But again, it depends on your expertise. If you can do, go ahead, no issue, because definite MIS is uh, uh, more effective because just you have some tiny holes uh, and if you will go uh, for laparotomy definite there will be more chance of more comorbidities wound infection dehiscence evisceration and a lot of complication but again patient safety is more important if you can do then you can go ahead uh, and also then if patient was a previous generalized inflammatory disease or irradiation again laparoscopy is little difficult in such a cases hyper and hypo coagulopathy that is also one of the contraindication so always we must be careful and, uh, dr yes, Abraham, Abraham, i think sorry Hyper and hypocoagulable uh, status, advanced stage of pregnancy, also be careful because it is a little difficult, but sometimes, again, it depends on your expertise, you can do. And also, if there is suspected carcinoma of gallbladder, here target is gallbladder carcinoma, uh, because in, if there is, uh, you are suspected to gallbladder uh, carcinoma, in GI carcinoma, we are doing, all types we are doing, uh, colectomies, we are doing uh, gastrectomy, we are doing, till we are doing pancreatectomy, distal pancreatectomies, uh, Vipil, there is no issue. But if patient is suffering with gallbladder carcinoma, because need, it depends on the stage, you all know better than me, and maybe there will be need resection of that liver bed. So it's better go with uh, open. Because when you will go laparoscopically, maybe you will cause more. Uh, uh, so uh, then, then this carcinoma and also uh, involve other parts of intra-abdominal uh, side. So due to this, we prefer to go open in case of uh, gallbladder carcinoma. So specific and definite. Uh, uh, this uh, you must be careful if patient there is cirrhosis, uh, sickle cell disease, uh, patient is suffering with AIDS, uh, there, there is ectodermal dysplasia. If such a situation, you can go, but be careful and you must know about the patient and situation what you can face. Uh, so this is a diagnostic laparoscopy the definite if you can see here this is an interesting picture if you can see uh, so killing in 1900 they, you can imagine just uh, how long before they were doing such a uh, diagnostic laparoscopy 
and now we are at this stage now we can see easily and also 16 times more and now you can see 3d and also 4k and lot of technologies and uh, so in future also you will see more and more easy and you can do such a, a surgery much easier so laparoscopic cholecystectomy just uh, I, I will touch about this because this is the basic information in this session. Then again, we will talk about laparoscopic cholecystectomy, basic anatomy, everything we will talk. Lab call is now gold standard. There is no doubt for the treatment of gallstone disease. Most commonly performed minimal access surgery by general surgeon at the globe. There is no doubt. Uh, so also now more than 97% in Europe, they are doing lab poly. Just 3% maybe uh, any other complication. Uh, so we must touch this one. And in future, uh, also we can do this. There is no doubt. In future, in our area also, we will be able to ask about this. Yes, 97%, uh, 100%, we are doing lab polys. And soon we will be able, this is our target. Just imagine now we can easily do appendectomy, just a tiny hole here. And always I prefer here, I will show you if we have a lab appendectomy. So uh, I prefer here, one, one trocar just here, and other trocar here, and this is my scope. And always I use five millimeter. And then you don't have any uh, scar and you can do easily appendectomy for the patient so some also you can do tubal surgeries gynae surgeries there is no issue uh, and easily doable uh, um, this because now you can't believe how in, in pelvic area access is very difficult but with laparoscope your access is much easier much better just imagine two case of splenectomy so he is with laparoscope and uh, this young girl. So you can see the scar. Uh, so just two or three scars you can do easily that uh, splenectomy. Same. Uh, some cases are highlighted. Uh, so about a message. So when you are doing yes, you can also do uh, this uh, ambiguous genitalia, UDT, many other cases. And when you will go laparoscopy till you can diagnose. Uh, so what is the actual condition? Yes, hormonal checkup, everything I know. But again, with laparoscopy, you can diagnose the real situation. Just you can imagine that one and also this was UDT. So you can do this easily, much effective with the laparoscope. Uh, pull through, you can do, you can do uh, Hirschsprung, many others and much easily. Just uh, our message is MIS is the uh, standard now is going to standard, especially in different. Now, now you can see adrenalectomy, much easier to do with laparoscope, much, much easier. And also you can see easily uh, in open surgery, just you are blind and maybe surgeon with, with the touch and with his hand, um, but uh, their assistant, he, they have no vision what he is doing there. And with such a big incision and just friction and so if you can imagine in right side when there is a pheochromocytoma or adrenalectomy, this is behind and upside and also near liver. Uh, so then how you can dissect and also just this vein is near to so inferior vena cava. We see how you can ligate that one. But laparoscopically much easier and uh, you have excellent access. We have a lot of uh, bariatric surgeries. We can go we can do obesity surgeries, trochoscopy we can do. If you imagine, I remember, so we did uh, uh, rib resection, uh, sternotomy, but no, no need. So just with MIS, you can do with minimal invasive, you can do very easy. And you can do also sympathectomy, it depends on your patients and condition. This is also amazing. Uh, so now you can do easily at the end, just with tiny holes, uh, you can do such a surgery. Uh, so 
these are, this is the beauty of uh, nephrectomy is easily you are doing and also you can do uh, this is also a blessing many many so till we are doing uh, a transaxial thyroidectomies now that is a scarless thyroidectomy and hope uh, soon we will do together in in any center in pakistan and also this hand assisted laparoscopic surgery uh, that is also interesting and you can take the sport especially when you are doing colectomies and if you need to out sample also same place you can use uh, uh, for your uh, also surgery and purpose it's a doable sometime our surgeons they also do when there is a, a peritonitis and uh, they cannot wash properly interloop they take do such a situation so with this they can do they can wash they can uh, with the hand and there is uh, so then they do suction uh, so you can do also if you cannot properly wash interloop collections uh, you can go it is better than a laparotomy so this is hand uh, assisted laparoscopy you can because you, you can also see and your hand is there you can properly wash interloop then you can do suction Uh, so this is the good thing. Uh, personally, I did uh, sometimes when I see patient uh, because in Dubai, unfortunately, our workers and low middle class always they miss. Uh, so they consult. So when generalized peritonitis for five days passed, uh, he was in his room and no one was there. And now when we go laparoscopically and there is lot of. Uh, Uh, also adhesions of small bowel and also uh, the small bowel is fragile you can go with assist hand assisted and also you can wash properly into loop and then you can do suction so this is also a good idea again if you are doing any surgery like uh, if you are doing colectomies and uh, you can with and till you can do anastomosis outside in such a situation because you have sufficient space just you can imagine now here you can see doing uh, this anastomosis here that is more safer as compared to if you will go it depends on your again expertise but hand assisted uh, we have such a instrument and it is a, a tiny hole not is a big uh, incision but you have sufficient exposure uh, so these are uh, some techniques uh, Uh, that was gasless laparoscopy and i have uh, something because in a patient with morbid obesity 300 kg uh, to 70 to 80 and also when the this abdomen and belly is down and this in in suffocation is very difficult we are using such still we are using this one and it helps us so it it pull the belly upward and then this laparoscopy is easier because only in suffocation in a patient with 300 kg is much difficult and especially when abdomen and that belly is down uh, much difficult uh, so yes now we are going to mini and micro laparoscopy and uh, this is the technology really amazing so because i am witness uh, especially the journey of this laparoscopy i remember uh, when we had but just a monitor a big size and there was not such a technology trocar lot of difficulties and now we can see this advancement of technology and we will see in future more and more and now this is a routine thing coronary bypass there is no need sternotomy and all of cardiac surgery are doing also in our hospital here so totally 100% mis and uh, so now this is the future is definite in my opinion this is the present we cannot us this is the future uh, so we will do till uh, uh, with robot yes uh, you will sit, sit sit here in dubai i am sitting here my patient is uh, in tanzania my patient is in pakistan you are sitting in tanzania your patient is in other countries in other centers so you can do there so this is the future and uh, and this is now they have started but in our countries this is the future but laparoscopy is present that is not future uh, so definite in soon we will be able to go uh, with a robot 
So this is reality. This is reality now. Uh, just imagine I two months ago I was in uh, Texas, America, the ASMBS meeting. And all presentations, 100 pre uh, presentations were uh, robotic. Just imagine now in Pakistan. So if you see someone, because if you imagine you are a laparoscopic surgeon, and when you will see someone who cannot do laparoscopically and he's open surgeon, how you see, oh, okay, he cannot do laparoscopy. Same thing now in America. If someone is doing laparoscopy and he cannot do uh, robotic, just the, the same, same vision. So 100% cases, the all presentations were robotic. And one of our colleagues from Houston, she was a Pakistani doctor and she present some cases of uh, uh, bariatric surgery there and so she highlighted daily she had five to six bariatric surgeries i asked her how you can do robotic because i know when you are doing robotic surgery take more time so adjustment console many things then you can start she asked me i have three robots you can believe i we have three rooms three robots so one patient is going finished, we will start another anesthesia finish. Everything is ready, then I will go next one. Then I will go next one. Yes, then I, you can do 20 cases. So I was talking about if you have only one robot, how you can do six cases per day and complicated revisional cases because her presentation was mostly revisional. You know, revisional cases are much difficult. Dissection take more time. And when some person has three operating room, three robots, three DaVinci definite they can do and hope very soon we will be able to in such a situation. So this is the future and inshallah very soon you all will be able to do and GLR will be pioneer of such a technology in Pakistan. And also this is just I touched this one and we must know about this. So be committed to provide our community this surgical procedure of new millennium. So this is this is the need and also right of our people, of our community. They must enjoy such a, a practice. And then this is this is our uh, time. So if you have any question, just this was introduction of MIS, introduction of minimal invasive surgery. Please. Dr. Sir, Sir, uh, I am Dr. Imran. I want to ask a question. Please. Sir, uh, as I am working in Peshawar and I have uh, seen uh, many elective laparoscopic surgeries now, but uh, till we are lacking in uh, laparoscopic surgeries for emergency cases like uh, ectopics or perforated duodenum or uh, peritonitis cases, because we do not have access to laparoscope in emergency OT or in emergency cases. So if you have worked in any unit or uh, uh, you have gained experience of emergency laparoscopic surgery, so how can Yeah, Dr. Imran, I lost your voice. I think you are unmute yourself. Un un can cover of minimal access surgery. Dr. Imran, this is a good question. First of all, uh, one thing that is the most important, that is uh, basics. When uh, you you will be complete your this mini fellowship program and you will be able to do at least TAP independently, that is our target. Because TAP is very important. In TAP, you have dissection, you have suturing, because that is standard TAP, not just formality. Standard TAP. When you can do, then you can do everything. Regarding this question, so again, it depends on administration and policies. I will also talk with Dr. Adil to provide such a facility also in Lady Reading Hospital. Uh, also, and also maybe uh, he can, not now, but at least after one month, two months, uh, I will talk with him. And also in uh, the Islamabad, uh, Dr. Tansir can provide the services in Capital Hospital. A capital hospital is also a public hospital and they have such a cases and definite. But our main target is first to go basic things 
when you will be able to do yes you must see you must watch how must we deal uh, in such a situation and that is important because we can do also perforated peptic ulcer uh, how you can uh, and also i will try my best i have lot of cases here and during these lectures i will show the video how can we do and what is the basics when you are doing a perforated peptic ulcer if it is in initial stage how you can wash how you can do uh, this irrigation and in advanced stage and there is a lot of uh, adhesions and also fragile small bowel how can we do but now we will go ahead and uh, definite uh, we will appreciate our your supervisor to do such a uh, surgery emergency thank you sir any question uh, i would i would like to add one thing dr imran can you hear me yeah yeah yes sir uh dr nanadeen basically the you know uh, main theme of this training is to make safe laparoscopic surgeons uh, actually when you will uh, learn the basics of laparoscopy it doesn't matter whether it's an elective case or an emergency case you will be able to uh, you know do the procedures it is uh, hand eye coordination development of skills and then the elective or the emergency procedures so uh, don't worry uh, your mentor over there is very skilled professor zari and you are always welcome uh, to join us here and we will try to uh, rotate the fellows to different cities as well in the last month probably uh, because this is the uh, first uh, fellowship program so we have to have coordination with the other supervisors so everyone will be having his own technique his own tips and tricks and you will learn and uh, it's a lifelong learning basically so i think we should not hurry that we don't have a laparoscope in the emergency or things like that when you will be in power inshallah very soon and as you will go in your profession and in your designation you should ensure that being the ambassador of glr you should have your laparoscope in the emergency in your department and the things will grow, go on if, if you will learn now and you will be at a responsible position that is it is your responsibility that whatever is the latest i am sure after a decade or so laparoscopy will not be latest as dr imran was saying uh, a few minutes back that the future is robotics i would say the present is robotics the future is i think ai and virtual reality so um, i think robotics ai and virtual reality when they will be future if you are not skilled enough if you are not, not even not in that age if you are around 60 and you cannot uh, you know have that much skill it is your responsibility to uh, let your juniors do those, uh, those things and train them it is sabka jari i would say so uh, it is a transfer of skills and transfer of uh, you know um, your own tips and tricks to the juniors and especially uh, it should be in our vision of all the glr ambassadors uh, that we should instill whatever we know and whatever ever is latest in the society and in the science uh, to the younger ones uh over to you dr man thank you yes please thank you thank you dr tansir any question because this this session our this session weekly main target is your questions uh, your presentation if you faced any issue the last week if you have any query any question the main target of this session is this so we will have about 30 minutes one lecture and we will try that 20 30 minutes your questions if you faced any problem any issue so next next week must be prepare and during this week if you face any issue any problem any educational question uh, so this this uh, these sessions the main target is this and also i will request to dr zareen and also dr tansir ask to fellows to prepare so they, it depends on them so how we can start and we will give you some topics you must prepare and you must present here in these classes uh, we will be with you and this will be such a um, uh, educational activity uh, dr man in this week uh, dr nanadeen asked about the emergency procedures in this week we had two laparoscopic um, uh, you know perforated duct ulcers and one laparoscopic abdominal lavage with um, ileo laparoscopic ileostomy formation for a uh, stricture in the ileum with perforation so all the patients are alhamdulillah well and we have made the videos of them i think as well and we'll edit them and we will try to upload on the um, uh, you know uh, send you the link of that 
of some YouTube link or we will uh, upload it on the on this forum of TLR in the group of WhatsApp. This is this is so great. At least they will have a yeah. This they will have at least a you know know how about the procedure and uh, you know in emergency position we cannot uh, ask people to come from other cities. But uh, next time we'll try to uh, be on Facebook Live or on GLR Live. Uh, or GLR TV live on when this type of procedure we are performing. Thank you. This is the Dr. Tansir, great idea. So if you have such a case, at least our fellows, at least. Uh, so if we cannot go live, uh, but we can give them some uh, Zoom link and we can engage our fellows. Yes, I am doing this case. This is interesting. If you have time, if you are interested, you can join us. So then it will be more effective. Just imagine when you are doing some case and uh, uh, you can generate a Zoom link and you can share with the Dr. Imranuddin, Dr. Zareen, Adil, Dr. Professor Abul Fazl Ali Khan and Lahore chapter as well. If they are doing in Peshawar, they can share with your fellows. And also our fellow have this opportunity from Peshawar, they can join Islamabad. From Lahore, they can join Islamabad. From Islamabad, they can join vice versa. And also they must join because this is a great for one week, for two weeks. So then they can see different hands, different access. And it is the beauty of laparoscopy and also beauty of this mini fellowship program and this giant program because we all are one, we are all together and it will be definitely more effective. Is there any question from any fellow, please? If they no. don't have, please. If you don't have questions, we will ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> so excellent, the excellent. Yes. Uh, my best wishes, and definitely we will continue our academic activities weekly, and also we will start uh, soon that journal club. Uh, that will be also very interesting, yeah. and you must all participate actively. Uh, so this is the uh, sharing knowledge process. We also learn from your side. Sir, uh, sir, I have please. a question and please. one comment. Please. Sir, sir, one question is that uh, uh, I am working with Professor Zareen and I am uh, very happy because I have learned a lot in the last four days of uh, GLR mini fellowship, which I have started. And, and uh, it's like... Uh, uh, overwhelming uh, for me that I have got this opportunity and all the credit goes to GLR team, uh, especially you, sir, that you are always supporting uh, our juniors. Sir, my question is that uh, uh, my supervisor told me that you will have to prepare a presentation on uh, uh, anatomy of hernia, laparoscopic anatomy of hernia. Excellent. So uh, when, sir, uh, I will be able to present it, whether I will have to present it to my supervisor or it will be through the uh, GLR forum. Same session, same because I have talked with Dr. Zareen and also, yes, uh, we will go ahead and also now we will share with each other. So this anatomy of laparoscopic hernia because this is totally different to open. So if you will yes. access laparoscopically, that anatomy is totally different to open surgery. And you must prepare slides and also PowerPoint. And uh, also we will share some topics to uh, our other colleagues and fellows. And yes, you will present like same class, same. And then we will talk about this. We will discuss about this. Yes, in such a session. Okay, sir. Thank you. We can have it on next Friday. Uh, and uh, first there will be lecture from the faculty. And then there can be a lecture. Uh, uh, you know, presentation by yourself, Dr. Imranadeen. If Dr. Imran Thank agrees, you. I think this is... Yeah, yeah absolutely. Is... Agree. Same, 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 definite. We will go ahead and also, uh, this is the collaboration. Same day when you will present hernia, same day a faculty present inguinal hernia repair, dissection, how we'll do tissue handling, uh, patient position, trocar position, and then we will go ahead, definite, definite. This is our main target. Thank you, sir. OK, Dr. Tansir, my best wishes. And I can see your list, a long list today as well. 
thank you so much dr and nan just we uh, can it is always wishes. it is always encouraging uh, to talk to you always a pleasure talking to you and, and under your leadership inshallah we will be we will try to deliver maximum to our fellows and the, our here our fellows will be our ambassadors to different cities of pakistan and in, in tanzania as well Inshallah. dr hasan is very happy over here and today uh, today we are today we are going to have a picnic in bhurban and after the picnic in the in the evening we will be having our list again and probably tomorrow morning we will be going for a hike because dr hasan is very excited to go on magla hill <laughs> excellent so we are you know we are enjoying our uh, fellowship colleagues and uh, fellow colleagues hello also... dr zareen assalam alaikum assalam alaikum ram bhai sorry i was a bit late and i could Oish. not connect in time dr uh, zareen just we were talking about sir. yeah highly welcome highly welcome and it was great session today to yes, it was a introduction of mis because it was first session and uh, we try our best to convey yes, our sir. about mis minimal invasive surgery a basic things just today was just introduction and just we were talking uh, with uh, dr imranuddin and he's so much happy uh, and uh, definite uh, so under your supervision and leadership uh, uh, this will be a great opportunity thank you sir uh, tanseer sahab are we invited to this bun activity or not sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh, we will. Assalamualaikum, Doctor Sahib. Now we will, uh, you know, plan. Assalamualaikum. We will plan 